just when they've forgotten about the budgie smugglers, they are back on the starting gate. And yes, Jack Wilson is back inside them. And we're off. The last run of the semi-finals, Jack Wilson, has he got what it takes to go all the way to the grand final? We are about to find out. Finishes the quintuple steps. Now it's time for the log grip. There's not a lot of him. Come on, that's it. That's it. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's home. He's all right. Well done. That was close. Here he goes on the spinning log. And he's just across. Come on. Finishes it with a forward roll. Here comes Jack. Onto the car going there. Didn't use his hands, used his arms. Pushed his hands through the gap in the net and clung on for his dear life. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. One of the characters of the Australian Ninja Warrior flew through the course for the first time. We wanted to do that this time, but it's a little bit harder, Jack. Them budgie smugglers, they're going to be under a little bit more pressure and talking of pressure. Them smugglers aren't baggy. They're not sagging down. They are skin tight. <laughs> His time at this moment is the fastest of the night. Look at that. He's agile. He's a cardio monster. Fantastic power to weight ratio. But this is a it's brand a brand. new obstacle. We can't underestimate something like this, the big wheel. Tests out the trampoline, has a bit of a look either side. He wants to make sure of what he's about to do. I tell you who won't be missing Jack Wilson's run tonight, and that is the great Rob DiCostello. He was his mentor, and he'll be watching with great interest into how Jack Wilson goes tonight. On to the first wheel. Look at him. He's looking at the Let's crowd. Go. Go. Unbelievable. Yeah. Even has time to look into the crowd saying, look what I've just done. Oh, he went a bit high there. Almost hit his head like Sam him, Goodall Jack. did earlier. Good transition. Oh, it's not just strength here. It's strategy as well. Your brain has to calculate what you need to do to get your body to the mat. Oh, yes. Beautiful. He's got a smile and he's straight up the wall. No breaks, straight up the wall. All smiles on top. But looking at the clock, he's 30 seconds slower than Ben Paulson. Will he make the top seven? That's what we're all wondering. But when you have a look at him, he's got all of the ingredients for it. That core strength, all of the muscle right in the middle of the body. Yeah, but he's also not heavy. He's 74 kg, and that's a great power-to-weight ratio to get yourself through the swinging spikes. Come on, boys. Come on. Here he goes on the rope. Makes his first grab of a spike. Oh, come on. Is he just toying with us? He's feeding off the crowd, I think. He grabs onto the spike that's got a bit of bungee, bit of elastic in it. He's getting closer and closer stretch, to the end stretch. of this brand new obstacle. But look at his face now. He's a bit worried, I think. He's struggling. His arms are fully extended. Come on, Jack. Swing off onto the mark. Flick, Russ. Yes, Jack Wilson. He's through the swinging spike. And now, from the swinging spike onto the pole grasper. Oh, yeah. He seems really confident. We haven't seen too many competitors throughout the entire semi-finals that have had time to look into the crowd and say, hey, I'm on the pole grasper and I'm feeling pretty calm and confident. Look at the legs work as well. Every muscle of the body being utilised here. Easy, Jack. Oh, 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 oh. He's slipping, he's slipping, he's getting close to the water, Beck. He needs to get off really... Oh, he's touched the water. I have no words, Ben. He was so confident, maybe too confident. Jack Wilson did not make it through the pole grasp.